kind of something that makes me feel like, whoa, I can fly, except I'm so high. Actually, I'm not. I'm on the ground. I rot, like a corpse. Well, that's what will probably happen, assuming that it's not like Armageddon or Ragnarok or some other thing where the Earth is shocked into millions of pieces and we never know what these pieces, these pieces, these pieces, the decide what makes us understand who we are as me, 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 yes, me. That's me, glory be for you or I. Oh, why do I cry when I have to see that there's another midterm? It covers everything. It's like a blanket term for suffering or like, you know, it's not going right because you thought you were all right, but then when it comes to the night, you're full of fright and you can't even sleep because all you can feel is the deep abyss of horror and dread. That's all that is waiting for you when you reach your bed. So no, you'll avoid it. You'll put it off by studying, although we really know that all that is is cuddling to hot thoughts. Things that will make you feel nice whenever you think of them, you feel like maybe it's not going to be all right. It's going to be kind of nice, but until then, you really just feel like some sort of vice, um, yeah, some sort of vice, feels really nice, kind of like when you get that fresh bucket of ice when the sun is glaring straight down on your head, and you never really knew that this was exactly what you needed, but then you knew right then, right, because then you have the ice cream, or the ice cream, it was something that felt really good, like a nice meat, you know, something to laugh at, something to cry at, maybe something to just direct your emotions at, something to bring out the other part of the subconscious, you know the part that makes you feel so just nauseous when it comes over you, just overcomes you. Now you're not feeling the blanket church, man, you just want to get warm, but not on something that is dead. You want to get warm with something that is alive, not full of dread. Yeah, so maybe you don't hang out with that one person or that other person or the guy who just feels like that one time, because right now all you need is that time. Not the time, but the time that makes you feel like you're alive. Because, you know, the time that you're dead is when you're in your bed. I mean, they say that you're asleep, but, you know, that's just a thing that's said because you don't really understand dreams. So how can you understand reality? I mean, they're two separate things, but honestly, they're the same thing, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man.